Hello Houdiners! And this week we are talking about the spring constraint. So we still have the same setup we have been using in the, the other videos. And once again, if you run it, you're just breaking pieces. So what we want to do is hang all those pieces like in the strings, in the spring strings. So the first thing we have to do is create those uh, strings. Uh, we want all of them to be hanging from one point. So let's create those, this point. So it'll be uh, add point. I turn on so you can see the, the points. And let's move it up like five units there in the space. So we want to have a piece of strings attached to each one of those pieces. So actually, if you see, I put a rango node, so I'm going to create those uh, this uh, geometry connected then. So it'll be a point right here. Beautiful. And if you see, each one has a centroid as a point. So let's put this uh, that this point, new point here, on the second input. And what we want is we running for each one of those points, it connect up to here. So let's first get the, this uh, uh, point position. And uh, let's store this in the vector. And I'd call this an anchor point. And it'd be equal, well, let's fetch the information from the point attribute. So just a, a point, let's spell it correct point attribute and we want the second second input so it's zero and this would be one I know it's confusing but uh, one is actually a second that's just the way we it is we want the position of this so it's going to be the P attribute and this point if we go here and see it and turn on the numbers is point number zero because I only have this one here. So you go back, we went from the point number zero. And now it is fetching that information in. And you can now look through it and create a, a point for each uh, primitive you're going to create connect them. So let's do it. Let's create the, our first point in that position. So I've been a Integer, so we get the point number. Point is going to be an add uh, add point, and it'll be a a geo self because it's creating itself. And the the vector of the position is our anchor point here. Perfect. And the next step is going to be creating that primitive for the connection. It will also be an integer for the primitive frame and you're going to be an add prim function and also going to be a, a geo self because it's creating itself there and we want this to be a polyline polyline And we start adding the uh, the vertex in each one of those. So it it be a vertex zero one. We add uh, vertex, and we want to add this to the print. So it be exact this primitive that we just create here, and the first position will be the point. Point. And now the second, let me through two. I also want to add uh, vertex to self and to the same primitive. And now you're going to be the point number because it's the actual the point that you are looking through it. So you'll be pt num and as it executes, it's given an error. Uh, well, 
Aries. This. Boom. There you go. We have now those all those strings connecting, and you're going to use then for as our constraints. So we have to add our attributes now. I'm going to put uh, attribute creator. Create. We could use the wrangle node as well, just showing different ways as we did in our last video. And we want to run this through primitives. So the first one is going to be the constraint name. And it is a string. And we want this to be in the all. That means it's going to be the rotation and a translation constraint. And we add another one, and now it's going to be the constraint name. And once again, it's a primitive and a string, and it's going to be a spring. Okay. Let's just connect to the second input, dive in, and create our. Uh, network there. So in the constraint network, it's already start complaining to me uh, where are the inputs and well in this case it is in the first con uh, uh, second connection Boom. and now we just put a spring uh, constraint network and in fact it's here and you can put our spring right there. I see the connection, and if you run, and we can adjust the forces and uh, all the attributes of the spring here, the strength. If you increase this for 500, you see the pieces will be hanging there. And also, if you want to increase the dump, dumping, so to dissipate that energy. Yeah, that's the spring uh, constraint, and um, thanks for watching, uh, see you next time.